Welcome to Block 929. Uh, the company is called Gizmo Machines. Gizmo. Uh, so just wanted to welcome you because we have now started gradually to operate in the workshop. Um, okay, this is going to go away. We're going to fix proper bench on this one. Um, this is the old one we were using. We might try to fix it, renovate it. If we can't, we we'll get rid of it. Now we also got the press, pneumatic press. It uses air to do the pressing here. Uh, you can see now our machines. We are now arranging in order. Uh, the stands are done. We're just busy working on the mold. I think here's the stamper for the mold. Uh, so yeah, we are busy working on a vibrating table for one of our, our clients. Uh, come this side. Oh, the guys, they, they just put their plates everywhere. They finish eating, <laughs> put the plates everywhere. All right, uh, we have been going to have a bench here. This position here, I'm going to put on this press. There's going to be a, a drill press. We've got one already inside. Uh, then, like you see, this is a, this is the stairs. Um, it will come from this side. So you, you start with the stairs coming up and you land here. You go there, you go up, then you start moving into the workshop. All right, uh, this is our jig. This jig is the one that builds this yellow stand. All right, so we also got this jig. This jig, it builds the smaller one, yeah. Now we have the money machine here. This, when you are making blocks using uh, the manual machine, makes one block at a time. The scooter is busy being done. I'm using wheelbarrow tires and these tires are not helping me. Every time they just get damaged, they're not cool enough. They, they, they get puncture easily, so I'm looking for to, to try the, the Pajaj's tires. You know those scooters with three wheels, they've got small wheels at the back. Yeah, I'm gonna try to adapt those tires and put them here. Or I'll look for stronger tires in town. Now here is the reason why I'm doing this video. I don't know why this thing moved here. Somebody must have been this here. Uh, come closer with the camera, please. The utility track. We've done the springs, they've been finished. Uh, you can see that uh, with the springs, the, the diff actually locks properly into the springs, so the diff is, is good for this vehicle. And then um, all I need to do is that there will be some bushes that are put uh, that are, must be put here. We're welding here, and then there will be bushes that sit here, and then we have also bushes that sit here. The front is also going to have springs, so we have the springs. I must just try to uh, get a diff, or I might uh, modify myself a uh, kind of a diff. So we we'll put the hubs in here with brakes and everything, and then the gearbox is coming here. Uh, these are the mounting for the gearbox, so they come at the bottom there, so they put here. You can see that you can actually change the gears. What's happening is that the, the chassis here is actually upside down. So once everything has been mounted, we have to turn it around, and then we start mounting the engine. And uh, you can see even the flywheel is inside. Just put a temporary here, the flywheel is here. So on the flywheel, there will come a clutch plate that will come here. So I'm just temporarily putting it here. The crash plate is, is done already. I fixed it. I, uh, I removed the rust on it and painted. Everything is done. Now we, what's going to happen here, um, I would like the camera to take for this angle and be steady. Uh, what's going to happen here, when it's up, turned upside down, on this part of the chassis, there's coming an engine. So we'll put the engine. The engine is going to have a pulley which you have a belt will come down. The pulley will come to, uh, I mean the belt will come to another bigger pulley. That pulley is going to have the, uh, the shaft that will go into the, uh, uh, 
comes here to the flywheel. So it will lock inside here to the flywheel, will be tightened here, and then uh, we will have the crash plate there. So it's going to sit like that into the gearbox there. And then uh, uh, that, that will mean that uh, we have to put an adapter plate here. So there's going to be a plate that we're going to make here to, uh, uh, to act as a spacer and also a an, uh, plate that will hold the, 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 the flywheel. So once that is done, it will mean that the engine has been connected to the gearbox. Now from the gearbox, we are going to have um, a prop shaft that will come from there. It will go to be connected to the diff. You can see as the tire is turning, that is also turning around. This diff is nice because it comes already with brake system. So if this uh, thing that we put here, when you twist it like that, it breaks. So it's got a brake system already. So we we'll use this with the brakes for this, for the well, for driving, and then I will ad adjust in a way that when you step on the brake, you want to re uh, um, do the handbrake. You step, and then you can do a handbrake to lock the the brakes so that it doesn't move anymore. The front might also have brakes also, so we we'll try to do brakes. Once we put the the hubs there, and then we we'll make sure that they have got brake disc on there, so that we have got uh, brakes. Yeah, so I would like to get your suggestions. What do you think? Um, a lot of people, they think it can never be done, but me, I'm saying it can be done. And uh, you know, this is a vehicle that's going to replace the, the ox cart. If you go all over Africa, the, the, the easiest mode of transportation that people use in the small farmers, there is ox carts. So they're using either donkeys or they're using cows. So this is going to replace that. The engine that is going to come there is going to be about 10 horsepower to 4 horsepower. It's not a big engine. But already we know if two cows are pushing an ox cart, we are having two horsepower. <laughs> so with 10 horsepower, so that, this is much stronger than the ox cart. So yeah, um, it's going to have a longer um, base because the, on this side, once we turn it around, we're putting another base on top for the uh, basin where, where you can carry things and stuff like that. And it's also going to have a hook so you, you can actually tow a trailer. So we can actually make a smaller trailer for this vehicle also, so you can tow a trailer. Yeah, so um, as you have seen, the black, this black thing is a chassis of the vehicle. The red one is just a jig. It's just somewhere where we're gonna uh, be. Every time when we're building this vehicle, we'll build it from this red jig. And what I'm going to do is now, when I make the bushes here, they will need arms that will hold the bushes here. And then I'll also put a jig at the bottom there for the chassis. So the next time when I want to put the bush, I know that it's exactly in place. The everything, if, if I do the engine, uh, I mean the gearbox, I'll also make um, uh, allocation on the jig so that next time I don't have to use a tape measure or whatsoever to put the gearbox there. So that's the use of this and it also helps me to be able to, to move this thing. You can see it's got wheels, I can move it uh, easily from one place to another. With the roller doors that we have there, once the vehicle is finished, I, we can just roll it up to drive the vehicle outside. So yeah, this is... Everything is coming, um, that's why you should subscribe, um, like the video and also uh, press the notification button because you don't want to be missing this vehicle as it is coming step by step. Very soon I'm going to fix my computer and I'll start editing so I'll be able to do now, uh, show you videos of the process as I'm building this thing, whatever I'm doing, you'll be able to see step by step by step. So, yeah, but I thank you for always coming to our channel to check what we're doing and also for people um, commenting. And I should say thank you to KJ. Um, he's organizing a speed controller now for the vehicle that I'm busy making, the other bigger vehicle. And then, uh, so, uh, you, you'll be updated. One of these days, I'm going to remove the vehicle from my garage there 
it will bring it will be put in here so that you can we can start working on it so yeah subscribe press the notification button and keep on coming to our channel thank you